Radio Raheem here with the none other than Nonito Donaire. Uh, you're stepping up in weight. You got, uh, you know, a documentary on HBO. You are now kind of coming into your own. Can you just talk to me about what that transition's been like? It's been incredible. You know, um, with with Top Rank and HBO, uh, I really definitely gotta gotta say thank you to them. Um, you know, and the, all the fans out there. Um, but you know, I, I came in here to. Um, to to see where my where my physical limit is, and um, keep moving up if if none of them stop me, you know. Right so, now, oh, go ahead. But you know, we want we want to make it happen with with everybody in, in in this division. I mean, it's an incredible weight class. Now you've got the Vada shirt on. Obviously, you're supporting uh, anti-doping testing. We've had so much controversy in that in the sport, and stepping up in weight while you're doing it. So talk to me about how you're naturally going to be able to get bigger and deal with these taller guys that are naturally stronger. Just gotta work hard, man. You just gotta work hard, and and you know, um, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to come up from here. But you know, from from what we're going right now, we've been we've been weightlifting, we've been doing anything, and and my speed is still there, my power is still there. So, we'll we'll keep rising, we'll keep rising. You know, um, we want to keep fighting, and 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 until so somebody stops us. You know, we just want to keep going and then uh, go beyond what we what we have. Now, facing a taller opponent like this, uh, how are you technically approaching this fight a little different from the lower weight classes? This dude is tall, man. So, so we gotta be, we gotta be smart. We gotta be fast, and and uh, we gotta have the right timing, you know. Um, but you know, he's gonna go out there. He's gonna box. He's, he's gonna, he's gonna show his, his worth, you know, that he's the IBF champion, and I'm gonna take it away from, you know, that I'm better. So. Um, Going, 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 and seeing how it is. You know, we're we're just we train really hard for this fight, just to avoid every circumstances for for them to, uh, you know, to to whatever whatever percentage to go up. You know, uh, so so my percentage of going of going up because I train really hard. Um, you know, I'm gonna go f I'm gonna go for the win and knockout. You know, we want we want to try to go for a knockout, but if if. If it doesn't happen, we're ready for anything. Now, you are famous for having a, a game plan when you go in the ring. Your career is no different. If you're moving up in weight, you're saying you don't know how high you want to go, what's your ultimate goal? Like, What is it that you're trying to accomplish or prove in this sport by climbing weight divisions like this? Well, the, ultimately, in boxing, if I get that undisputed uh, title and become an undisputed champion, that's pretty much what, what I've already set out to do. You know, um, but at, at that point on, it's just more of the fact that I just gotta keep rising and, and just keep challenging myself from that point on if I get there. Um, but you know, I accomplished a lot that a lot of fighters haven't. You know. You know, one thing that a documentary like the one on HBO accomplishes is people start to look into your personal life. They start to get to know you a little better. You were a little, you had a little playful, a little silly. You always I'm, seemed I'm so always, serious. Man. I'm always, you know. It, the thing is, I grew up been picked on you know so so I know I've learned to fight and I've learned to, to appreciate everything I have and that's why I'm always I'm always I have my happy guy you know I'm a happy dude and and uh, I'm always happy uh, around my, my team and I always make them laugh you know we always we always have a good time we always have a good time that's that's the least that I can do for myself is you know in every moment in every situation life will always try to take you down but you know what it's up to us uh, to make it happen, to make yourself happy, to make yourself successful. So I don't make any excuses no matter what it is. Now putting your family behind, in front of the camera like that, you know, people are starting to understand your story with your dad and now your wife's kind of a part of your narrative. How has that affected your family life and do they like the spotlight? I mean, it's, it's something that, you know, that you can't help. You know, either you're going you're gonna to go big or go home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but it's just one of those things. I mean... They've been very uh, uh, just helpful. They've, they've just been very supportive, and, and that's why I'm thankful for. And you know, something that's that's kind of personal, but it's out there now on HBO. People are commenting on your relationship with your wife, and everybody who has a girlfriend or a wife knows that the balance in the household is sometimes hey, hey. Uh, shifted her direction. Hey. Is, is she is she the boss there? Happy wife, happy life. I've learned that the hard way. You know, I, I love my wife, but the thing is, she does so much thing for me. I mean, you saw it when I walked in. She drove the, the van, uh, that big old van. I mean, she does so much for me, just so much for everything. She's my best friend, you know. And 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 one thing is that when you're married to somebody, that means you are equally, equally in God's eyes and everybody's eyes. It doesn't matter if people say, "Oh, you're wearing a skirt." I'll be under that skirt, man, in no time at night. But you know what? That's my thing to do. <laughs> you know, I'm, what I'm saying is, uh, what I'm saying is that, um, you know, no matter what it is, you know, that's your best friend. That's the person you married. That's half of you. So, you know, it's kind of like with your friends. You know, you have respect for your friends, so you don't want to say anything bad. 
but you gotta respect them, and you can, you gotta respect your wife the same way. You know, you look. I've always looked at it that way, and that's why it doesn't matter. If people say, "Oh, you're wearing a skirt," or this and this and that. You know what? I'm happy, and that's all I can attest for is that I'm a happy man, and then I'm I'm, I'm good to go with my life. Thank you, Nonito. Thanks for the time and the candor, Radio Raheem with Nonito Donaire.